Hello, welcome back to this channel. My name is architect Utibe Aka. I'm glad to have you back here. You know, in Nigeria specifically, we are experiencing a financial crisis. It's not just in Nigeria anyway, globally. Things are getting tougher and tougher as it may be. But you that is watching this video, are you an architecture student? You'll be wondering, how do I make money? in the midst of this global recession okay now let me tell you watch this video subscribe to this video share this video in this video as well you are going to get details on how you can make money as an architecture student now as an architecture student you ask yourself are there pathways for me to make money in this time yes the answer is yes truly there are a lot of ways you can make money as an architecture student. You can learn a digital skill. Now, I will just dwell this video clearly on this digital skill because in the next video, I will tell you more of other skills that you can do, but there's so much for you to learn about learning a digital skill. What kind of digital skill do you need to learn as an architecture student? You need to learn the skill that is relevant in the industry for you to be able to survive and also make money while you are still studying your course. Remember that architecture is a very tedious and demanding discipline. It needs you to put in your time, your energy as well, meeting up with the demands of other courses and modules that you need to keep up for you to come up with a successful grade for graduation. Now, design is the principal course, but what do you need to make money? There are a lot of architects in the city where you would find yourself that might have firms and some of them might be operating digital offices. They might not have those who have that skill, but you are at advantage at your age. You need to acquire the skill that those people who are already in the field do not have the privilege to acquire. What do you do? Rendering is one of those skills that you can do. Some uh, firms outsource rendering. You know, they do the designs and do every other thing, but they don't have a very good person to render. So you can build up your skill with rendering. How do you do this? You get softwares that do rendering. You, you can learn V-Ray, you can learn Photoshop, 3D Studio Mask, Revit, Archicad. Now, these are just a list of it, but if you just go and make a search on softwares that you can use to do rendering very well, you will have a list of them. Number two, modeling. How would you do model in, in this time? Remember, we have the physical model and we also have the digital model. What I'm referring to here is the digital model. In the digital model, you will be able to transform any drawing that was given to you, whether in two-dimensional CAD, into a model such that it will be able to generate different views and easy enough for a client to perceive. Remember, when you do a model, you can show various spaces, interiors, and your client will be pleased. Let me tell you that presentation is changing. It's changing grounds by the way. The regular presentations that people are familiar with is ground flo uh, floor plan, elevation sections, uh, details, roof plan, site plan, but you know, when you begin to go into sharing interior views, you will help the client to connect with the spaces and arrangements that he wants for that space. So as an architecture student, if you go into interiors, a modeling that will help you move to good interiors, it will help you a lot. The next is drafting. Now, drafting is one of the fundamental skills that every architecture student who is going to come out to be an intern in the field needs to have. In drafting, you must learn the skill of hierarchy of, of uh, lines, 
because each line means something different and the way you use it matters. So good drafting will amount to good interpretation of intent and the clarity of your drafting will make people to yearn for such quality of drafting. So look up quality drafting and see uh, softwares you can use to do that. Basically, AutoCAD has been uh, the number one software people use for drafting, but nowadays, good skill of use of Revit will help you draft effectively from a model perspective. Remember that building information modeling is ravishing the industry gradually. And uh, if you have a grasp of Revit modeling, you can draft from there, from your model, and your drafting will be top notch. You can use ArchiCAD and you can draft and make your details out of it very, very interesting for any architect or someone in the built industry to seek your skill. Number four, a lot has also been uh, done in terms of energy analysis. A lot of people don't do that. And I'm telling you that that's an area that as an architecture student, you go into that area, you can go into the analysis of uh, spaces, you analyze the energy that might be required for a space. You analyze the lighting that might be daylighting that might be required for a space. Analyze even the acoustics and all those things. By the time you do such detailed level of work, even climatic effects, how the uh, sunlight affects the building envelope, it will help you go into specifications. You know, so now these are skills that can help you to make money. Remember, these skills are not so frequent. It's, it's only people who have finished school and start looking for what that they re, re, uh, realize that they need to acquire skills. If you run a, an inventory of graduates, you find out that a lot of graduates that go out into the field do not have the skill the in-demand skill so as a student if you get those in-demand skill you're actually going to be making money by the side through freelancing all right number five animation is one of the other ones that you cannot play with imagine what people are doing now with softwares like Lumion, twin motion and uh, a couple of other animation softwares where you can show real time people moving into a place, showing cars, moving in the streets and all those things, these are captivating. I must tell you, firms do not do this because they don't have the manpower. I'm not saying all firms, but most firms do not do it because they don't have the manpower to do it. If you learn the skill, you find out that you can be making money while you are still in school. Number six, graphic design. You know, a lot of the people are demanding good graphic designer i'm telling you that in every facet of life today you need a graphic designer an illustrator somebody who can show you do something some posters and all those things thumbnails for anything you can do so as an architect with your skill of powerpoint photoshop you know you can go ahead and do graphic design for people complimentary cards all those things will come up so develop that skill and Put it out there as your skill that you have. Put it in your portfolio. Put it in the client space. Let people know that that is what you do. You don't necessarily need to have an office, you know, and people will get that. Then, portraiture is the seventh one. Number seven, portraiture. You see, a lot of apps have come up today. You look for apps that can help you enhance your portraits. Some of you might be very good in drawing. You can do those drawings. If you're not so good at that, use those apps. Put them, print them, take the pictures, print them, and come up with fantastic uh, frames and backgrounds. And you'll find out that there is a market. There is a niche for it. Okay, number eight. You would wonder, how oh, all these skills that he's mentioning? I don't have flair for them. You know, you won't be left out. There is something for everybody. But remember I was saying digital skills, so I'm going to stay within the confines of digital skills. Number eight, you need to develop or rather a harness your writing skill. Content and copywriting is one of the in-demand skills today that you just go to Google today and search 
you'll find out that there is so much demand for such person. Now you are in the AEC industry and uh, uh, you understand the registers, the terminologies that are being used in the industry. This is a great opportunity for you to begin to develop your skill so you can actually write for the people in the industry. You know that architects generally, engineers, they are not writers. They like to design, they like to design. So you seeing that niche as an architecture student, you pick it up if you have that skill, if that's not your strength, you might not force it upon yourself, but if, you, if that's your strength, you can write to convince people, you can write to sell water for a mommy water, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> I'm telling you that harness such skill, put it out there, you'll find out that you make so much money that you will come back and tell me thank you. I'm just here to serve you. I'm here to make you to help you make money. I'm here to help you succeed in life. Now, how do you make the money from all these skills when you learn them? Remember you have your studies to do and you also have money to make. Time management is a principal factor that you must consider. You will not follow other students when they are going around trying to make leisure, enjoy themselves, go clubbing. Yes, it's good to have uh, extracurricular activities. But always ensure that you make out time. You plan yourself every day. You plan the time you have lectures. You plan the time you need to rest. You plan the time you need to go out there and make money, make contacts. And how do you do that? Is when you manage your time well. Keep it simple when you're doing these things and make sure that you have a goal. Put a cost to whatever you want to do and let people know that yeah, they can assess you. Do not put off your phone. If you have a mobile phone, always put on your phone and receive calls when they come in. Remember, you can also uh, get very close to registered architects and work with them. You will learn so much from them. Don't keep yourself as the architect. No, because you are not yet. I'm telling you from the perspective of the architect. Put yourself that you are in training, but you are offering an in-demand skill. They will look for you. I'm glad to have you, and I want you to watch this video more and more to understand what I'm saying. Share it with your friends. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, do well to do so. And you are going to have notifications when I come up to tell you more on how you can make money. Watch out. Ciao.